Hey Mosaic Kids, it's Missy and Tanea. And Miss Lexi, we hope you and your families are having a great week so far. We are so excited for us today. Let's start with our Mosaic Kids Memory Challenge. So if you aren't already, go ahead and stand up and wiggle it out. Our memory challenge that we are going to review today is Psalm 23. And these verses are called, The Lord is My Shepherd. And so repeat after me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Good job, guys. Awesome. <clears throat> well, now we are going to do our MK Q&A for the week, and you guys know what that is by now. MK Q&A is memorizing truths about who God is in the form of question and answer. So we know that we do this in other ways, like what color is the sky? Blue. Um, what color is grass? Green. Um, what sound do you kittens make? Meow. <laughs> um, so we're going to do something similar, except when, for our questions and answers are going to help us learn more about who God is and how he is good, great, glorious, and gracious. So we'll get started for this week. But first, we are going to play a game. This week, we are going to play Captain's Orders, which we have played before, but I'm going to review kind of the commands for you. So, Antonia is standing up, getting stretched out, ready to go. Um, and so, our first um, order that I might say is attention. So, if I say attention, you are going to say, aye, aye, Captain, and put your hand right next to your forehead. Good job. Um, and <laughs> Good job. And if I say big waves are coming, you are going to run to the back or a side of one of the room you're in to escape the big wave that's coming. Good job, Antonia. Um, and then I might say scrub the deck. And if I say scrub the deck, you're going to get down on the floor and pretend to be scrubbing the floor. Um, yeah, we can't see Antonia. So. Um, and then if I say raise the sails, you are going to pretend like you're pulling on a rope to raise the sails up. Good job. Okay, are y'all ready to get started? Okay, let's start. Big waves are coming! <laughs> scrub the deck! Scrub, 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 scrub! Raise the sails! Attention! Aye, aye, Captain. Scrub the deck. Big waves are coming. Attention. Aye, aye, Captain. Raise the sails. Scrub the deck. Attention. Aye, aye, Captain. Big waves are coming. <laughs> Attention. Aye, aye, Captain. Good job. Good Whoa, job, guys. Those waves were so big. <laughs> Let me tell you. Okay. Whew. Thanks. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, now it is time for our MK Q and A for this week. And our question is, what does the law of God require? And the answer is that we love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love our neighbors as ourselves. Okay. So, do the question with me on three. One, two, three. What does the law of God require? Good job. And our answer, um, repeat after me, that we love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love our neighbor as ourselves. Awesome. 
So we know that everything you learn in MK Q&A comes from the Bible. And the Bible is God's true word. It is from God and it is about God. And so what does the law of God require? It requires that we love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength and love our neighbor as ourselves. So our verse for this Q&A, uh, our verses are Matthew 22, 37 through 40. And they say, and Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Heart with all your soul and with all your mind. This is a great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. So over the next few weeks, we are going to learn about the Ten Commandments. And this is when God rescued his people out of slavery in Egypt. He knew that they, they needed a new way to live um, and relate to him and to one another. And so he gave them the law. Can you say the law? One, two, three, the law. Good job. The law is a set of good and loving rules that God gives his children because he cares about them. Do you have good and loving rules at your house? Of course you do because rules help us to love each other. It wouldn't be very fun or you wouldn't feel very loved if your siblings could take your toys whenever they wanted to or they could hit you and nothing would happen, right? So we know that rules are good and that they are loving. And so God's rules, his law, his perfect and loving um, rules um, are so because he himself is perfect and loving. Um, but we have to know that God's people don't follow God's law, his good and loving rules, because ch his children want God to be pleased with them but rather God's children follow God's law, his good and loving rules, because their sick hearts have been replaced with healthy hearts when they love and trust Jesus. And so one day when Jesus was on earth and he, um, a teacher of the law, so someone who spent a lot of time studying God's law, asked Jesus if God had a favorite rule. This man wanted to know if there was a way to earn God's favor. And this is how Jesus responded. And Jesus said to them, said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. This is a great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself on the two commandments depend all the law and prophets. Okay, so what Jesus is saying is that the law, those good and loving rules are actually about what? They're about love. They're about loving God with everything you have and then loving other people as you would want to be loved. And that's so important for us because it's easy for us to believe that rules are just about keeping the rules. But really the law, God's good and loving rules are about love. And so if you ask your parents, you ask your mom and dad, um, is me not getting to play with my siblings toys when it's their turn about the toy? They would say, no, of course not. It's about loving your brother or sister. And so just like the rules in your family, um, God has rules for his family and his laws are, and rules are about love. But here's the thing. Have you ever broken a rule? I have. The good news is that God is gracious. He saves his people. And so we can trust that Jesus lived a perfect life. He died on the cross for our sins. He is buried in a tomb. And on the third day, he rolls like, grows again. And that's the gospel truth. And when we have hearts that are sick with sin, with disobeying God's good and loving rules, we can go to God in prayer and ask for forgiveness. And so what does the law of God require? that we love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and that we love our neighbors as ourselves. Good job. Let's pray. Father, I do thank you and that you are a perfect father and that your law are about good and loving rules, and that you have a heart of love. And so you give us these rules because you want us to love you. You know that is the very, very best thing for us to do. And because you want us to love each other. And so I do pray that as we consider your law, we consider these commandments, that we would see and realize that it is Jesus who is able to keep them perfectly. And that is loving and trusting him that gives us a heart and that knows that we can love you and trust you, not to earn your approval, but because you have given it in Christ. For all these things in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, and um, well now it's time for us to answer some review questions to see how well we were listening. So after I ask the question, go ahead and pause the video and shout out the answer. Then you can unpause it to hear the answer. So the first question, what does the law of God require? That we love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength and love our neighbor as ourselves. Question two, what is God's law? God's law is his good and loving rules for his children. What did, um, what did Jesus say is at the heart of God's love? or God's law, <laughs> love for God and love for neighbors. <laughs> what do I do if I break God's law? You can pray and ask for forgiveness. You can also talk to your parents about what it means for Jesus to give you a healthy heart. We'll see you Sunday. Love you. Bye.